Hi, I'm John, and I like to relax. He, he really, really does. does. And I'm Tammy, and I like to explore. She, she really, really does. does. And I'm Austin, and I like to repeat. He really, he really does. does. And, and together, together we, we are Relax, relax explore, explore, Repeat. Hi guys, how's it going? We are in Vinemont, Alabama, Coleman County at the Clarkson Covered Bridge. It is the second longest covered bridge in Alabama. It's 250 feet long. Longest bridge is like an, about an hour from here. So we decided to stop here first. It was only 20 minutes away. See if how thrilled we were with covered bridges. I mean, I like covered bridges. She likes covered Who doesn't like covered bridges? I like covered bridges. Everybody likes covered bridges, but we didn't know if it was worth an hour's drive. This one's 250 feet long. The longest one in Alabama is 330 feet long. And the longest one in America is 613 feet long, which I'm having trouble <laughs> imagining at this point because this is a long old bridge here at 250 feet. So this bridge was built in 1904. In 1921, there was a huge storm that washed half the bridge away. Uh, they, after the storm, they went downstream, retrieved the half that washed away, brought it back and restored it in, I think it was 1924. It's no longer uh, open to car traffic, but you can uh, walk across it, which we're going to do here in a minute. And we're going to take you with us. So hang on. Get you on the flip side. <sighs> Well, uh, we're getting some conflicting information. The What we saw said 250 feet. This one says 270 foot bridge was constructed in 1904, destroyed by a flood. I've got that right. 1921 rebuilt the following year, which only the only remaining covered bridge in Coleman County. It was restored by the Coleman County Commission in 1975 as an American Revolution Bicentennial Project named to the National Register of Historic Places on 625-74. So let's go for a walk. Yeah, it looks like some of the, I don't know, I don't know how long this floor lasts, but some of it looks newer than others. I don't know. Hard to tell. It smells good. I'd like to drive over it personally. Yeah, I would say that one. That was a newer. <laughs> it doesn't look very good. I mean, it's concrete, but it's kind of crusty looking. Ooh, I am kind of crusty looking. On this side, there's the creek that runs underneath, and there's some walking trails. Ooh, and some people under the bridge. And they, it said they constructed some period buildings that there's a mill and then looks like it's some kind of store on the property it's not an actual functioning store but built to the period specs of the 1900s early 1900s Yeah, 270 feet, counted it. So yeah, that's a long old bridge, uh, especially for a wooden covered bridge. Yeah, yep, we have to go back if we want to get to the walking trails. Water's clear. Yeah, very clear. This thing's really creaking with foot traffic. I hate to hear what a car a car would sound like driving over it. Yeah, it seems sturdy enough, but it's just pretty creaky just with uh, my weight, and I'm still not 
quite as heavy as a vehicle right now, so yeah, it'd be rather noisy, I would think, with a car here. Not sure if that applies this time of year, but watch for snakes. We'll definitely do that. It's a really pretty setting here. That's cool. I like the underneath side of the bridge with the stone supports and stuff. That's, that looks a lot better from this angle. This is the replica mill that they built here on the property. Not functioning at the time. It's wheels not turning. It's still cool. This this park little well, uh, park area is open to the public and free of charge. So, yeah. Very cool, and I highly recommend it if you're in the area. Seems even more impressive from down here. You can really see the, the full span. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I, I love the, the rock columns. A little too much glare. That's kind of cool. I see both bridges. There's both bridges. The newer one of the concrete and the old one with the stone and the wood. Here's some people walking on it. Creek. Creek. Let's snap a picture here. The construction of the two bridges you can see is way different. The newer bridge made with poured concrete and steel. This bridge looks like uh, individual stones laid on top of one another to provide the support and then you see the wooden uh, trusses or whatever you call it underneath. Two very different styles of construction but I like the old way really cool scenery here is gorgeous even though it's well it's January now January 2nd 2021 uh, things are a little dead but not unattractive at all if you like the outdoors came over to check out this picnic table. I could see it was had stones on it, but it's, uh, I see rebar and concrete. I just wanted to see what kind of stone age picnic table they built. This one looks like it's a slab of rock though. Over here. Yeah. The bench is concrete, but the tabletop is solid slab. Don't see that very often. Another tinkling, or trick, trickling, babbling little brook here in the park. This trail goes back into the woods from the covered bridge and kind of follows the creek in the woods if you feel like a walk in the woods. Uh, it's, as you can tell, it's a sunny day. It's 50 in the 50s. Uh, not as warm as yesterday, but still a nice day for a walk in the woods. So that's what we're doing, taking a little bit of walk and uh, seeing what we can see. There's the walking paths go in both directions, or all directions, away from the bridge and the mill. You could spend a long morning or long afternoon just enjoying the scenery, walking in the trees. Nice peaceful place for a walk. Lots of nice scenery to look at too.
This path is paved with stones that goes around this way to another bridge that goes around through the woods and back over to the mill and the log cabin. I said store earlier, but I think it's supposed to be a log cabin. Uh, now the restrooms, there's restrooms in the log cabin, but they are closed for the winter. Do oh, I see it too. Right on. Tammy spotted a waterfall. We're gonna walk that way. See if we can see it. Get closer to it. Whoa. And this bridge over here is a little tipsy. Yeah. Walk this way. Don't seem to be a path towards the waterfall. Well, we're gonna have to either cross the stream or go up the hill. Go up the hill. Actually, it does not look like there's a way to get to the waterfall. Unless we cross the stream and we don't wanna do that. Uh, taking the uphill path, there is no path, so I think we're going to refrain this time from, and I don't have my bushwhacker, I just I need to remember my bushwhacker for these hikes in case I need to whack some bush. Okay, Tammy says push forward, she wants to get closer, but bank of the creek is getting a little steep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard that branch snap and I thought it was a Sasquatch. Well, there's the fall. Right there. I think this is about my limit. I want to get wet, which I currently do not. So there's the little waterfall. Heading back from the waterfall towards the log cabin in the mill. Pretty scene. Hey guys, we are wrapping up things here in Alabama. We saw some cool stuff. We went to the largest natural bridge east of the Rocky Mountains. We saw one of the longest uh, covered bridges in America, which happens to be the second longest in Alabama. And all kinds of cool scenery along the Sipsi River. Um, yeah, so, so we're wrapping things up here in Alabama, and the weather's actually cooling off a little bit from what it was the previous couple of days. So we're heading south some more for some warmer weather down to the Panhandle of Florida. Looking forward to some sunny beaches and uh, white sand and warmer temperatures. <clears throat> we're at, or currently, we stayed at the Thousand Trails Hidden Cove campground here in Arley, Alabama. We've got some drone footage of that that we're going to put into a video about the campground. Um, it's a nice, we, there's a whole huge new area 
of uh, full hookups and 50 amp and uh, we took advantage of that and we enjoyed our time here and but we're looking forward to Florida and some warmer weather John's and looking forward to the beach. beaches I haven't been to the well we went to the Oregon and Washington beaches but not the same not at all not not the same as in not very warm or pretty as far yeah, as not warm, ocean not color. Pretty. But they were amazing. I did, uh, yeah, they were awesome. The the coastline, the Washington Oregon coastline is awesome, but not not uh, conducive to swimming or really laying on the beach at all. It was cold and rainy and. He likes to soak up the sun. He likes to soak up the sun. <laughs> he likes to tell everyone. He likes to tell everyone to lighten my ears. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> yep. So stay with us and we'll see you in Florida. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Hasta la vista, Alabama. Awesome. <laughs>